Hello people and welcome to my channel and to another drawing tutorial. Today we are going to draw a very very badass uh, villain from the DCU universe. I'm talking about Darkseid. Uh, Darkseid in, in itself is not a really hard character to draw, but in this video I'm going to teach you how you can draw Darkseid very easily uh, without using uh, a lot of techniques and a lot of tools. So for this video we are going to use again a ruler, a 2B pencil, a 4B pencil, a mechanical pencil, a 9B graphite pure pencil from Faber-Castell and an 8B graphite pencil. And also you will, you will also need a blending stamp and of course an eraser so uh, as i explained in my uh, previous videos uh, for every drawing that you need to do you'll also need a ruler uh, to draw the proportions uh, exactly as in the reference image so with every drawing that you are going to start you would need to start with the 2b pencils or you can start with the mechanical pencil. Uh, as I mentioned in my other videos, you need to do very light lines when you are going to sketch the character or any, any other image that you want. You need to do uh, very light lines because again, you, can draw, you can't draw perfectly uh, in the first try. So again, you will have to come later with the eraser, so it would be much easier uh, to erase a lighter line than a hard line to, with the 9B pencil. So, again, we are going to split the page in half. And also you need to measure the distance upside down. Uh, just to make sure you place the head at the center of the page. But for this video we are going to leave more space down than we are going to leave up. So again, you don't have to draw these lines perfectly, these are just for guidance. So right now, I am going to put the reference image in the corner of the video so that you guys can see. Uh, the form of his head is actually covered a lot by the helmet. So we are going to start with geometrical forms for this drawing. Alright, and also another line. This line for the helmet goes upwards. Because the image is actually shot from uh, underneath dark side. So it gives him a more intimidating pose. So just try to make the proportions right, but draw them geometrically. And then afterwards you can come and make the whole drawing uh, accurate to the reference image. So it has a space here at the neck for the armor to start. It comes right here.
I believe here is the Omega sign. Yeah, so this is it for the neck. Now, for the head, if you want your drawing to be exactly as in the reference image, you would have to measure uh, the distance uh, from the corner of the helmet uh, of the chin exactly exactly till the the lips and again the distance from this lip to the nose uh, and to the eyes but I'm going to draw it by the eye but if you want it uh, I advise you as a beginner to measure your reference image that would be better now we need to figure out um, how much of his face is actually covered by the helmet. All right. This seems about right. Here it has a line from the helmet. So as you see, basic shapes for the sketch first. You are going to need details uh, when you are finishing the drawing, but not when you are sketching uh, when you are sketching the image. Uh, as we can see here, we can figure out how much space we need for the for the mouth part uh, by actually guide ourselves from the helmet. So this line from the cheek starts around here and it goes to the nose around here. That's good. So basically the nose is very very small compared to the mouth area and to the eyebrows. Also his forehead is actually coming out here. So as you can see, geometrical forms all over the drawing because that's how you make proportions right, not by drawing the details. And this is it. So I am going to use the same method that I'm showing you right now uh, after I post this tutorial to make a very realistic and very detailed dark side drawing uh, because I want to make this tutorial kind of fast so that you guys don't get bored with it and I want to make this very easy for you guys And afterwards, I'm going to take my time, I don't know, uh, three or four days to make a really beastly 
looking dark side drawing. Like this. So this guy has a look like he's kind of disgusted by everything. So let's say the mouth is around here. Here should be the middle of the lip. And here it starts the chin. So just like my previous drawing video, I'm not measuring anything, I'm just drawing by the eye because I encourage you guys to do the same if you want a look-alike sketch to the reference image but a more, uh, how can I say it, unique one. Now we come with the 4B pencil and we try to add different lines and textures. So here is actually another eye. I'm really hoping that this video is still in focus. So this is the top of his head goes like this, it goes a little bit outside of the helmet and like I said in the previous video of mine with the Batman who laughs you need to draw the helmet in 3D yep this is it let's make this more sharper this is it now the eye is actually here it doesn't go up until here to the corner of the section of the eye yeah his eyes are actually smaller and the portion that is down is kind of straight and the eye here is curved the top section of the eye is curved because like i said he has a very distinguished look um, uh, like a person that is disgusted with anything oh we forgot about this portion of the lip like this 
and this in his eyes is actually the omega sign So we are almost there with the drawing. It looks disgust. So that's good. The nose needs a little bit more work, but sure as hell it's not bad. Yeah, right now it looks decent enough. go too much in detail with this drawing because I want to make it as fast as possible for the new buys so now we need to draw the cracks but you don't have to draw them exactly as in the reference image You can have we can have have fun with them. You can draw them however you want. Just uh, follow the the pattern of the lines, so that your drawing still looks like in the reference image. So as you can see, this is really not that hard. I believe it's one of the easiest villain, villains in the DCU to draw. Just like this. So right now, we are going to take the 2B pencil and we are going to spread evenly a value with this pencil. So after this step, it won't look really 3D, but then we are going to come with a blending stamp with the other values and the drawing would would make sense. I forgot about this section because it looks much nicer now. Alright, so now we come with the 4B pencil and we accentuate the cracks.
right? It looks decent. And now for the shadows here. So the light is actually coming from above. So that's why the eyes are darker. This the section uh, for for the eyes and also for the mouth it's dark, darker. The section under the nose is because the light hits from above, not directly into dark side. We have also shadows here. And a lot of shadows here under the nose. This portion is darker, the lips are dark and we can only see the top of the lip. Just just straight lines but very consistent to blend the values together like this now this portion of the eye is also dark Now we go with the 9B pencil and we darker this, we make this the darkest value and also we add some of this to the cracks but not to all of them just to make, just to give the illusion that some cracks are deeper than others. All right. And also the lip is very, very, very dark. Now we have another value here that is not that dark but it reflects from the actual light that that is hit that hits the helmet around here. Now we have a shadow here because his face is covered by the helmet so it makes sense that he will have a shadow covering his face yeah guys so this is it pretty much I don't want this video to take so long 
So now you can just darken the neck with the 9B pencil. And if you have if you want to have smoother values here, we just go with the blending stump. If you have one, but this is optional. This is not mandatory for your sketch to look good. As you can see, it blends the values from the pencil and it makes it look more clean. But if you want a messier look, just skip this part because art is subjective and some people may want dirtiest, a dirty look, some people may want a cleaner look with smooth values of shadows etc so that that's it pretty much it's very easy to draw a dark side i just draw it by the eye and like i said if you want to make the drawing look 100 percent like in the reference image you would have to use the ruler and measure each part like this one uh how much of this chin uh can fit in the whole head like this it's actually the same portion from this chin uh, from the whole chin to the place where the lip starts to go upwards so that's it you need to measure here 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 the nose just to have a more accurate representation of dark side now I'm going to pause this video and I'm going to add some final details here and there some reflections to the helmet and you can expect in a couple of days to see a very detailed drawing of dark side uh, following this following the same concept like i did here i think i'm going to draw exactly the same picture of dark side because i really like this uh, badass helmet thing uh, portrait dark side uh, but i think i'm going to try to draw it in uh, colored pencil not in charcoal or graphite um, yeah, so that's basically it. It's really not that hard. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about uh, this uh, tutorial and if you managed to draw dark side uh, at the end and if you did a decent job. Take care guys. Peace.